Hi folks, Mikey Boy here, and this is 3.17 a.m. Short point and click adventure game. This one is based on very famous painting Nighthawks by Edward Hopper. If you've seen it before, you'll know what I mean. I just flash a big picture of it up here so you can see what I mean in case you don't know what I mean. Anyway, it's based on that famous painting. So here we are, 3.17 a.m. at a diner. Just passing the time. Anyway, let's see what story is going to develop. Well, I thought this day was never gonna end. Hasn't ended for everybody yet, you know. I'm over here behind the counter serving. There's a mysterious box next to that guy in the blue jacket. Mm hmm. I think that is a major plot point. <laughs> Sorry. You're right. Now yeah, bring you some pie. Mm, let's see. Bearing with half drunk workers like us is definitely worse. At least we can have a drink and chill a bit. We're the working class, and around the clock we work. Uh, let's let's play the empathy card. I totally get it. I get it. I'm gonna put it with those drunkards is definitely not as fun. You're kidding. You're roaming the interstate all day long, picking up junk people threw away. I wouldn't trade my job for yours. Don't forget fixing bumps, potholes, and cracks. <laughs> cracks. Sorry. I'm just inserting a little bit of working class humour to match with the working class chaps. Chap is not a word a working class person would use, is it? <laughs> yeah, don't forget the fun side. <laughs> so what's in that box? I thought the box might come into it. It's been sitting there all night and you haven't opened it. I don't want to talk about it because inevitably we will end up talking about it more anyway so let's just dive straight into this something personal yeah it's you know it's pills for man problems don't need to concern yourself with that come on you can tell her hmm, hmm. man it's my private life although now he's stirred the pot now what choice do i have now that he said that 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 bloody asshole there has just dropped me right in it yeah you're right maybe she can help me make up my mind so i received this box and it came with a letter a letter from you know who your ex Bullseye! Ding 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 ding! We have a winner! Winner winner! Chicken dinner! And talking about that, where is my chicken dinner? And my pie? You haven't even served us anything except this one drink that I've got next to me. Yeah. My ex. Shouldn't put you down like this. It's been a long time already. I know. It's not that. It's about how it ended. Man, I got to hear you lamenting yourself day in, day out when it happened. I remember that time. You lost your appetite. Even your thirst. You weren't even drinking beer? You wasn't even drinking beer? Holy shit, it must have been serious. Yeah, so please try to settle this mystery box. Yeah, this box mystery. Quickly. We don't want to watch you falling downhill for weeks like last time. Okay, so do you know how it ended or I'm over it, that's history for me. Now, he's obviously not over it. Saying that would be a blatant lie, wouldn't it? If he's so torn up about this box that he's received, he can't be over it. He's evidently not over it. You know how it ended. You can't blame me for feeling a bit weird about it. How did it end? What happened? What what the hell happened? Did he accidentally stab her or something? 
I don't know how you would accidentally stab someone, okay? It was just a thought. I don't know. It sounds horrific anyway. It doesn't sound like the best breakup in the world. Not that any breakups are good. I know, pal. It's just hard for me to see a friend suffer. Another beer over here? Maybe maybe some tequila? Maybe Jägerbaum or seven? So what's in that box already? Wait, is that another voice? That's a different colour to the other voices. Ah, uh, yeah. You've been listening the whole time? Finish cleaning your kitchen instead of eavesdropping on my customers. Oh, okay, was it the janitor or something? Or the manager? Your customers? These two have been coming here for longer than I've known you. But now they're literally family to me. At least half of them. At least half of them, so what, one of them? <laughs> one of them is like, one of these two is like family to you. The other one you couldn't really give that much of a shit about, obviously. And I remember the breakup as well. I should be doing a muffled voice for this guy, because he's obviously shouting from the back, isn't he? Who doesn't? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, sorry. <clears throat> so, what was the letter saying? Did that work? I guess I'll find out when I do the edit. <laughs> I need a drink before I go on. Hint, hint. Booze me. Oh. Oh, cool. Wallet. Box. Waitress. Juki. What are we doing then? Wallet first? This guy just looks so... I just want to see what the other songs are. Don't chase music, man. I love this one. Been going forever. Come on. Okay, but bear in mind that who changes the music in a diner has a lot of responsibility. It can alter the mood of the people, make ooh, resonate some deep memories inside. So the music, different music, can that make people talk differently. Be reassured, I won't take this responsibility lightly. No music. No music. So let's do. A faithful wallet, holding $23. Oh, is that what really he has to say about the wallet? Do you want something, Shug? Sorry, I'm adding the Shug. I'm just assuming that every single diner in existence, no matter where it is in the world, has a waitress with a Southern, a southern American draw. <laughs> I'm paying another round. Be a beer. I suppose I'll get my doofus of a friend his drink as well. Yeah, I'll get him a drink. Thanks, buddy. I'll pay the next one. Yeah, you better. I've got my little, I've got my eye on you. Coming up, two fresh beers. Oh yeah, sounds good. Even though it's oh, three fifty-two a.m. Holy shit, these guys sleeping. What the hell? What's Einstein doing out here? It is. In a, in a vest and, and, and underwear. What the hell's going on? Hey. hey, you finished your beer, but not your story. It's true. Tell us about the letter. Oh, I try and drop the accent. Jeez, I need practice with my voice acting skills. Well, the letter says that... Wait. Who's that guy? Yeah, who is that guy? Did he come out of nowhere? Stop avoiding the conversation. I want to know. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> but, random guy, just stood up there. Seriously. Hmm. Tell them. Uh, fine. Okay, okay. It's not even that big of a deal. Although well, I've been umming and ahhing about it for the best part of an hour. Basically, he wants me to drop this box at his father's. And that's it? He can't do it himself? That's just not it. He says that he's going away for some time and he won't be able to deliver the package. And he says that I'm the only person he can trust enough to do it. But, and it's important, I can't open the box. For any reason, under any circumstances. That's the last thing to say to somebody if you don't want them to get curious. 
And on top of that, his father doesn't live next door. That's true. He's one of the last remaining miners on a depleted site near Mount Kalju. Mount Kalju? Is this a real place? Quick, get Google up and tell me if that's a real place or not. Right in the middle of the Aztenian jungle. How oh, cool! Could be some great exotic vacation. It's starting to sound like it's not real, but it still could be real, maybe. It could. What are you gonna do? See, that's the whole dilemma. Being nice to somebody who hurt you? Or get back at them and open the box. Or even throw it away. Can you just shut up back there, man? Just shut up or come out here. Hmm. What's it gonna be? The decision making here. And sorry, I just assumed that this guy had broken up with his girlfriend. I'd never once, it never even passed across my mind that he could have been in a gay relationship. So that's totally my fault for jumping to conclusions there. So open the box. I really don't want to do that. I'm too nice a dude to do that. But I could just straight up say I'm going to do it. But at the same time, I could say, who is this guy? I am curious. You can't just throw a random Albert Einstein look like outside the diner and expect me to ignore it. I don't know, but who is that guy outside? Really? Kitchen's done, honey. Only took you an hour and a half. Easy ass. Probably sat in there drinking all the bourbon again. You know me, I'm a perfectionist. Spelt incorrectly. Sorry, sorry. I gotta stop niggling. Oh, I'm such a niggler at the spelling. There's only one end in perfectionist. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Bye, mate. Mate, we're suddenly not in the US anymore. Were we in the US at all? This could be any country, really. I just, j you know, again, jump to conclusions, assuming it's the US. I'm sure there's US themed diners in England somewhere. See ya. You tell me about that box of yours next time I'm in here and not drunk and when it's not four o'clock in the morning, okay? Will do. If he can make up his mind. I want to talk to this dude over here. Oh, I can talk to him. I can just look at him. Guy. He seems totally lost. He's just staring at the cars passing by. Those boots though. Aren't they the same as the ones we use? I was thinking that because you can just see the top of the yellow boots that my buddy's wearing there. Hmm. Maybe he works with us and we've just never noticed him before. Although quite how you wouldn't notice someone that looks like that. I don't know. I guess, what is this, more drinks? I guess I can check my money. 17 bucks now. Doesn't he owe this round anywhere? It's not my round. You won't make up your mind, will you? That's what pals are for. One beer for my nostalgic friend. Hmm. Another beer coming up. Are we driving after this? Doesn't seem like the sensible. It's 421 now. Oh, he's actually come inside. <laughs> hey, wake up! Right in the back of his head. <laughs> I'm not cool at all. That's totally how I would have woken him up. Maybe just, just like, uh, lick the back of his head. No, okay, we're going into weird territory now. Beer? Huh? Dead drunk already. Guess he had his count. Dead drunk already? Last beer. One too many. Mm, more like two too many, mate. And you've only had two. Unless you cleaned bottles away beforehand, of course. We could have had it in, in, in. Sorry. I lost the ability to speak for a second. Maybe we've had innumerable beers, but she just actually keeps, you know, cleaning the counter up. Just hope he doesn't puke on the counter. Cleaned it already. Don't worry, not his nature to puke until we get into the car. You wanna throw, wanna throw a pail here or we wanna throw up in the car? I think maybe both. References. You'll sleep until late tomorrow and wake up fresh as new. Late tomorrow, you realize it's already after four in the morning. So when you say sleep until late tomorrow, do you actually mean he'll sleep all of today and the night? 
because that's a potential. I've been there and lived that before. I used to stay up until ridiculous o'clock in the morning and then just sleep the entire day away. And then not be able to sleep again the night after and it's a vicious circle. How, how did he get in? I didn't see him come through the door. What? You both came together. You don't remember already? Maybe you're the one really drunk here. No, I mean, this dude, over here. What the, don't tell your sister. Don't worry, she'll find out soon enough. Well, I'm not throwing you out, but I'd say it's time for you two to go home. I think it's time for you to ski daddle. I'm getting pretty tired myself. Don't you think? Five minutes more, it's late. Us two, us three, no? Uh, I'm going for either five minutes more or trying to bring this guy into the conversation again. Maybe I'll just say five minutes. At least I can figure out who this guy is. When you make sense, tell me. And I'll close for the night. Hmm, I can finally talk to him. Uh, everything all right, sir? At last! I thought you'd never speak to me. No, sorry. Do we know each other? <laughs> Do we know each other? <laughs> uh, why is that funny? You kind of creep me out a little bit. Just a little bit. Do you mind if I ask your name? I mind. Especially if you're not buying me a drink before. I'm not weird. No, I'm not. I don't want. I don't think you'd be that weird. You're not really my type. I mean, you're a little bit on the old creepy side for me. Um, I guess I could get him a drink. Don't seem to want to leave, do you? Red, please. Taters on the side. Eh, it's not getting any better. Look, my sister must have started to worry by now. Just finish up your beer. Time for me to walk to the trailer. Don't think it'll take me more than 15 minutes. When I come back, you leave. I close the diner. Do you want something? She's gonna think I'm a real nut job for ordering two beers. I don't care if you don't finish them. As soon as I come back, you're going home. Drunk ass. Don't worry, it's not even for me, it's for this guy over here. Can you not see him? He's literally right there. The weird looking guy at the end of the counter. Whatever. Drunk ass. 4.33 a.m. I'm starting to feel tired myself, just looking at these times. You haven't told me your name. Because that's not relevant. Well, why were you standing outside watching cars pass by? I like the sound of hover cars. It reminds me of so many things. Hover cars? I've forgotten how beautiful it can be. Okay. Uh, hover cars? It's soothing to me. It's the sound of movement. <laughs> the sound of freedom. That's uh, deep for 4.33 in the morning and however many beers in I am. So, about that box of yours. Uh, how do you know about the box? I heard you talking about it to your friends. But you were outside, on the other side of the glass. Really? How strange. This guy's some kind of time traveler? <laughs> what the hell? You see, the dilemma you're facing right now, it's not trivial. Have you been listening to the whole story? 
I know enough to provide some advice. In plural, apparently. Wait. You've come out of nowhere. You know about the box. Are you... Your ex's father? You read my mind? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, nor, nor which part. To both of your questions. <laughs> How would I be your ex's father? Doesn't make any sense, and I doubt it would have brought more answers than questions. This night is getting easier every minute. You're not kidding. This is going to be the weirdest diner I've ever been in. Fictional or real. And I've been in some weird diners. Fictional and real. And to come back to your situation, let me tell you something. You know how a succession of isolated events has shaped your existence and brought you to where you are right now. Yeah, that's generally how life works. Isn't it? Indeed, but the decision you're about to take regarding this very box may well be a turning point in your life. It won't alter it so that it slightly deviates of its main course. No, it will literally put you on a very different track depending on your choice. You mean forgiving my ex or staying angry at him and not doing what he's asking? That's a primary way of seeing it, especially if you believe in karma or a greater good. But it has nothing to do with good or bad. It's more atomic than that. Wait, there's a bomb in here? Oh wait, did I take the word atomic too literally again? I'm sorry, I've got to stop doing that. You're losing me. Beer. Brain. Bad mix. You're going to have to elaborate a little bit. And why are you telling me all this? Why tonight? Tonight is an adequate night, don't you think? I may have had one too many beers. You will not be the first person to sit out in this diner. Okay, so now I have 11 bucks. Yes. Can I talk to him again? No. So, you've reached any conclusion about your box? Well. I don't even dare click on it yet, in case he automatically opens it up and that's the end of the story, so I'll kind of avoid it clicking on it. I'll go and deliver the box to his father, I'll dump the box, I'll open the box and see from there, I still don't know. Uh, how much more discussion can we have around this box? Let's just do the right thing. Deliver it. Really? Without knowing what's inside? Well, what if, what if the father opens it when I'm there and then I can see what's in it? It may even be harmful for you or his father, you know. You're thinking about what to do still. Of course, you haven't been of any help. Jog on. Go away, you weird... Weirdo. Let's go outside. Watch some cars. It may help you see things more clearly. Okay. Needs a pressure anyway before I end up like my mate. Poor... <sighs> 4:45 a.m. Didn't it say she should only be? Didn't she say she was only 15 minutes to walk? I've did I left my wallet on the counter. Okie dokie. Okay. All right. So I can't click on anything apart from the jukebox apparently. Well, why is that? Oh. Oh. How do you feel? Seeing things clearly now. Feels good. Pretty good. Just. Sitting on the cold, damp ground. A quarter five in the morning. A little bit breezy. Can't believe there's still guys on the road. I could stay forever watching those levitating cars fly by under a bright full moon. Feels like it was yesterday. What was yesterday? Thursday? This same night. Hmm, okay. This guy is obviously some kind of weird time travel guy. Okay, it's 5 or 2 a.m. now, right? Where did he go? When did he go? 
How did he get... Wait, what? How do you do that? Whoa. Whoa, okay. Whoa. Whoa, look at all these thoughts that popped up out of nowhere. That's weird. Okay. Can we... What was that old man's speech about? That this may be one of the turning points in my life. How did he know on? How does it make it easier for me to decide? The good in me makes me lean towards accepting and delivering the package. Yet I can't help but think it's suspicious. Let alone a bit inappropriate given the context. But why would my ex want to hurt his own dad unless he fell out with his dad? Maybe it's just something that killed both of us. But then again, was my ex a murderer? How would that even be... What, what context could you take that in? The old man may be right. Maybe this package can be dangerous to me or to his father. It's been such a long time. How can I be sure my ex hasn't turned into a psycho? Okay, so that's just what I was kind of half discussing there anyway. My ex always told me about where we grew up in the mountains. He was always describing it as an almost magical place. Tahiti? Man, I'm just chucking out the references left, right and centre tonight. Now I've got an excuse to go on a promising trip. My mind's made up. I know what I'll do. Deliver it. Just deliver it. Even if our relationship's ended, there always was mutual respect between us. See, that's the grown-up, adult, mature thing to do. And that's pretty... That's pretty clear logic for 5am in the morning. And <laughs> beers galore. Besides, he put his trust in me. For all the good memories we share, I owe him that. See, that's nice. That's nice, sensible, nice thing to do. 3.16am? Wait, oh, 3.17am. I thought this day was never going to end. Hasn't ended for everybody yet, you know. <laughs> Sorry. So, you're alone tonight? Yeah. Something happened today. What? He received a package and got weird right away. Then he told me he had to leave for some time. A travel of some sort. That's strange. Never seen him take a vacation. Me neither, but he looked oddly confident and determined. I could have sworn over his shoulder I saw a weird looking guy with, like, grey hair and glasses. Giggling to himself. I could have sworn he was in his pants. That box must have triggered something, that's for sure. Finish cleaning your kitchen instead of eavesdropping on my customers. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you decide to go on some kind of a initiatic journey. Maybe. Let's ask him when he comes back. He may return a new man. Or a dead man. I wonder if we'll ever actually find out. No, but where to go? Oddly shaped pixels. Oh, Marcos Vandral and Legon, that's who did the music. I should have listened to all the music, I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to, I didn't realize the story was actually going to pull me in so much, you know. But that was really good. Uh, take from it what you will. I wonder if... Obviously different decisions are going to affect the ending there. If you open the box, maybe... There's obviously different endings, that's what I'm trying to say, I'm sorry, I just kind of got lost in thought for a second there because that just threw up so many random things. Who was that old guy? Surely some kind of time traveller. Because that was the same, we, we started, we ended, sorry, on the same day that we started on, really. But this time the guy decided straight off the bat to deliver the package. So I'll pop a link in the description below so you guys and gals can all go and give this to try for yourselves and check out the different endings which I might also do separately myself anywho I've been Mikey Bly and this was 3.17am you all have yourselves a fantastic 
morning, afternoon, evening, or night. I will see you all next time around. Bye.